Okay, I wanted to take a uh, short, I don't know, two or three minutes and just show you our total card production bundle that we're now offering, which would include a completely refurbished and reconditioned Dell uh, Latitude D830. It is a dual core processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 160 gigabyte SSD drive, new battery, new charger, and we completely cosmetically recondition it. We apply exterior skinning to the top, to the palm rest. Um, we restore the operating system. Uh, we do apply uh, at least Windows 8.1 with the operating system. Let me get it out of sleep mode. Then in this particular bundle, what we also do is uh, we pre-install and pre-configure the DC Print 150i, and this is the professional version, the card issue and software that would drive our data card 150i device. And this is probably the most intuitive software, far better than anything. Um, you could use data cards OEM software, which is called IDWorks. This is far simpler and can give you access and uh, intuitively allow you to drive this in any of its capacities. <clears throat> We also provide the quick reference guide and the user's guide for, for the Dell D830. And uh, so let's move on to the next device. This is the Fargo. It's the HDP2. Um, this is similar to uh, the HDP5000. The HDP2 is what was produced for large corporations, financial institutions, and government for creating secure um, cards. It does dual-sided dual printing, and uh, like the HDP5000, this is a retransfer printer, so it's over-the-edge printing, meaning that there are no white spaces or borders around the edge of the card. It can completely print the entire uh, area of the card over the edge, and it can print on both sides in full color. Uh, we do provide some printed material uh, that goes with this. The manual you have on the uh, computer, but it's 310 pages, I believe, so we don't, we don't uh, produce that. All right, let's go on to the data card 150i. All of our data cards have no more than 5,000 prints uh, card production on. This particular one has 3,512, and most of them are under 4,000, but we guarantee under 5,000. Now, if you watch our video, we have a link to our remanufacturing and refurbishment process. We, by far, go through these things more than anybody else, including data card corporation. We tear these down and proactively go through them part by part, and component by component, we proactively rebuild and remanufacture all of the parts back to OEM like new original standards. Um, those areas that have been known that fail more often than others, uh, wear points that are known in the picker, um, the gearing, the, the, uh, the bushings, the O-rings, the belts, all of those things are replaced. Uh, we replace and put in high-tech uh, lubricants, modern lubricants, that when these things started being manufactured 15 years ago, they weren't using it that time. And uh, we send just a portion of the test cards that are run on your device. We include, in addition to the software manual, but the user's manual for the data card 150i itself. You get a new certified null modem cable, a null serial cable, that is the device that can print, uh, connect to the laptop. Now, the other benefit of why we stick with these particular models is the Dell uh, Latitude, the D830, uh, some of the other ones the D630, but we like the D830 because it's got a larger monitor and it's a little bit more enjoyable to have to use because of that larger screen. Um, but it has a built-in serial port. Let me go ahead and pull this around. But in the back right here, it has a built-in serial port so that the cable, we don't have to have a USB adapter like a lot of other computers might have to have. So it will plug directly into here. We don't have to install any of the, of the data card drivers from their website. There's no print drivers on this. Our software natively controls and uh, communicates directly with the data card 150i through its native protocol called CPX. And so we don't require the print drivers. So you don't have to install any print drivers. You don't have to install the USB adapter, the USB drivers, and then worry about that thing malfunctioning. It is a direct connection from the serial port on the back of this to the direct uh, host connection on this. And so what we're going to do is, I don't want this to get too long in the video. <clears throat> so what I'll do is, is uh, I don't know if you'll
you'll be able to see. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit here. Just so that I can kind of illustrate a little bit of what I'm doing, and I'll try to stay out of the or blocking the screen. But uh, the software has also been improved. This is the uh, the version two. This is actually 2.45, but it used to be that you had to use Excel, and uh, you still can use Excel, but you no longer have to. So I can come in here directly now, and I can edit the the uh, data directly. I can drag and drop the columns so that I can change the order up and I'll see over here that things have changed. Um, I can add columns, I can delete columns, I can delete rows, I can directly edit, then I can save it or save it as out into an Excel format, uh, both the XLS and the XLSX. Um, in addition to that, so we can quickly and easily, no drivers are installed, hit connect. We know we're connected because right here it says ready for data command. And so now what we have here is we show a preview. So this does have a WYSIWYG or a virtual preview. So that I see right here when I enter in the information, it's pulling the data. That it, would, it would run, if I run the whole series, it would run the first row and then the second row and then the third row. So I can do single cards or I can do an entire batch. We've also updated where I can print multiples of the same card. So I can print and uh, this preview card, say I wanted to print just that card for some reason 10 times. Um, I don't need to have 10 rows of data identical, I can just print that. We also have added in where it used to be that you, once it was installed on your computer, it was stuck there. But now we have an, an activation deactivation. So you can deactivate the software, it'll put it back into demo mode, and then technically that software could then be installed on a different computer if you were upgrading or migrating or transferring the software elsewhere and then the same software serial number or key could be used to activate the software so we've, we've done that as well. Um, we've also added the help file so when I click on help it'll immediately pop up a PDF and I can size that down and go through and find information everything from installation, activation, deactivation, the demo mode but uh, go through it and it shows all the things about how to uh, create card data files, how to create card template layout and profiles. Um, it will be improved over time, so, but right now that allows you to have immediate assistance on that. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and do a quick, make sure I've got up well. I think I have, let's see if we got an extra card here that I can, whoops. All of uh, our equipment comes with the keys. Here. I forgot before I started this to uh, bring a bunch of blank cards in here. I don't want to start the video over, so let's just put this in. And I am connected, so I am going to do a print preview card. I want just one copy. Hit OK. Tells me right here. Let's say I was printing multiple cards. It'll say printing one of one or one of ten. I'm going to tell you exactly which card that it's on, so you know where it's at. You also, <coughs> pardon me. Um, if I were printing multiple cards, I would have a stop button up here. So if I get into the second card and decide I don't want to print anymore, I can quickly come up here and hit stop. All right. Let me back this out since it's. Let's see if I can. I'll uh, reposition the camera in a moment and do a demonstration over the top so you can actually see it. But I'll show you here real quick the actual finished card, of course. Alright, so that quick. Oh, I forgot to do a rear end dent. Okay. Anyway, so here's, I didn't turn on the rear end dent, but here is the card. Let's see if I can bring it up here and hopefully. You can see how it's embossed and foil tipped. I'll run one now with the rear indent. Alright. While I'm at that, let me show you real quick. 
we're, we're in the process of creating an updated video tutorial of the software itself. So, in addition to the help file that you can click or download, we also um, will have a video tutorial, 10-15 minutes, that will take you through it and kind of give you the multimedia version of that. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and let's say I said print and I want to say show you. I'm going to do two of this same card. If I wanted to do all of them, I would do the execute batch and then it would go through and print all. Um, but if I, in fact, let's just do that. Let's pretend I'm going to execute the whole batch. This is what I was talking about. Once it starts printing, you'll see there's a stop button here. So I can hit stop and keep it from going to the second card if I realize that I have the wrong file, um, I was printing on the wrong stock, so on and so forth. All right, well, you can hear it producing. Let me my helper who normally would run the camera for me we didn't get to this until today so he's not here able to assist me or whatever else. What I'm going to do, sorry about the shake, uh, but I don't want to create two files, video files, so what I will do and again, we will make another file to uh, replace this one at some point. But this way I'm going to give you a little bird's eye view of We're picking the card. Now it's indenting the card. It's the first thing that it does. And then it embosses the card. These cards I didn't I don't have they don't, mag, they don't have a magnetic stripe on it or I would have magnetic encoded. This particular model um, on this package is our fully loaded model that does have the magnetic encoder, which is this device right here. And uh, you will see that the test card it is magnetic encoded. So if you run this through a swipe, you would actually see um, the data that we have magnetic encoded, which technically is the serial number and some actually device specific. That's how you'll know it was actually run on your machine because if you were to swipe, uh, if you were to swipe this card, it will actually show you data, including the serial number, the uh, firmware revision, um, our information about your particular device. Every device is individually tested, and uh, those test cards or a portion of them are sent with the device for quality assurance. Next what I'll do is I'm just going to run a test print on the uh, colored printer for you as well. I just hit the stop button. I don't know because I don't know that it's the last card, but I think you get the point. So hopefully get this. Here we go. Three cards. Rear indenting on the back. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try not to bump the camera too much. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly show you the software for the printer. It's different software for the printer. We use a, a Jolly's ID Flow. And we do put on their uh, intro or light version, which is actually their free version. 
So let me show you the ID Flow software real quick. And the ID Flow has two portions to it. It has the actual print uh, portion and it also has a card designer. So um, I'm not going to go through all these because I don't want this to be a 30 minute video. But it's the ID Flow Free Edition 7.3.30. Um, ID Flow is a superior product. I would even suggest maybe um, if you decide that you want to upgrade, uh, there's a couple uh, versions uh, above this if you wanted to um, have enhanced features. Okay. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. I want you to see it real quick so that you know. Okay. So we can create, in this case, this is just showing a template for like enrollments or, and, and you can do ID cards, and different cards with this. Now, technically, you could run cards directly from Microsoft uh, Word and other things because this does have a print driver to it. And as long as you have the appropriate card size, you know, the, the dimensions in it, and you send it to the printer through that print driver, you can print from any software. But this gives you something that's... Let's see here. Real quick, here is the card designer. Okay, just a second, I, this hasn't been launched yet. This is a fresh computer. Uh, the first launch of all the software takes a little bit of extra time as it configures itself. the button. Oh, sorry, I might not have done it. There we go. Alright, so I can create a new document here. Uh, this is a guided setup wizard in this case. So, in this case, I'm using their wizard where I can tell what information I want for data. First name, last name, title, department, card number, email. But you can go back and create your own. You don't have to use theirs. But, whoops, let's just say, you know, title, department, this was an ID card. And photo. Uh, we could protect these with passwords. Okay, so this is how it sets it up, and you can see where it's going to insert information and where it's going to insert the photo. So this is the designer, and you know you can move this around and set up different designs, and then save this template, and then you can pull this up in the other software I was showing you a moment ago. I'm not going to save this. I'm not going to go through anything in depth. Um, okay, the other thing that's uh, on here that makes this pretty handy... Oh, I forgot to put an icon for you. start and put it to the taskbar and that is the Fargo workbench. It's an excellent uh, diagnostic and test utility for this um, printer. It also helps for me to demonstrate to you what the capacities of this particular one is. So I can go over here once it's finished booting up. Oh, forgot. I had unplugged everything to show you the back of the printer or the computer. So now it's connected. I'm asking for printer information. So right here I can see that this device has the magnetic encoder, the iClass encoder, uh, the MyFair encoder, the Contact Smart Card encoder, and dual-sided uh, printing module. So it's got all of the only thing it's not got in this particular one is proximity card reader. Um, you know, most people don't use that, but if you need it, that this doesn't have it. But it has all of the contact contactless uh, and EMV uh, level one contact encoding. Um, you, it's even got card samples here, so that's what I was going to do here real quick, just so I can do something quick. Um, and I can just take these samples. I'm going to say, here's the front. And uh, let me see. Is there something on here for the back? No. Well, I'm just going to put another card here for the back. So I can do this, and uh, I can see over here if there's more than one printer. That's the printer. I've got the uh, printer attached. It's telling me that I've got it, and I can just say, hey, I want to print this. And let me 
back this up. Put it here. All right, so it's printing yellow. And this does come with uh, a full uh, roll of, of ribbon, color ribbon, and the transfer film. So uh, that's good for, I think, what is it, 500, 500 cards on the ribbon and 1,500 on the transfer. So, and we can supply for you, or you can buy from anybody that sells uh, certified Fargo products. And I would recommend always using OEM for the life and longevity of your, of your printer. And it's on the second side now. When you saw it saying transferring, it, uh, these retransfer printers, they actually print to uh, this very thin trans, uh, transparent film and then apply that to the card and then basically, in a sense, like an iron-on. And that keeps the print head from coming in direct contact with the card, but it also allows it to print an area larger than the card itself. Okay, let me back out before I pull the card. It actually, on that film, it, it prints a, an image slightly larger than the card, and that's how it achieves that uh, the ability, if you want, to have borderless printing. So, here we go. Make sure you're able to see. Okay, so you can see there is no edges here. Full color on the back side, you know. This is for uh, dual personality, you know, if, if this uh, gal had, uh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, multiple personality. But as you can see, you can print all the way to the edges and that uh, retransfer film, it literally prints an image slightly larger than the card so that it, it applies that that uh, transfer film. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It actually applies the image, so you can see right here, you can see the border uh, there we go. So hopefully you can see it. You can see some color striations around it because the card was printed in between that. So it prints to the film and then the film is applied to the card and that's how you get that borderless print. Um, for the non-retransfer, the direct card printers, they can get really close to the edge. They, they refer to them as edge to edge, but that edge to edge still leaves just a really hairline uh, white edge, you just get a little bit of a halo right around the very edge. Um, I've got some uh, data card printers that, I mean, just almost make the edge, but they won't quite do this. But as you can see, um, this is the kind of thing for secure IDs, uh, for printing full color, uh, membership cards, ID cards, financial cards. Let's say you have a business that wants to uh, issue in-house credit cards to its customers or its clients. Now, of course, I could take these cards that I print, and I can, this particular one's not designed for it, but I could then put these into here and then customize or personalize those and apply some type of, of, uh, of embossing, indenting if I want it, and then the foil tipping. So you can make a, an extremely impressive, high value uh, card for your clients, your members loyalty cards, reward uh, cards, discount cards, prepaid and gift cards, in-house, financial cards, um, sky's the limit. They're really, with this, it's a complete card manufacturing system. I'm going to leave it at that. I don't want to get long and boring uh, more than I already have. If you have questions, send us a text, an email, or you can even give us a call. Our contact information will be listed with this. Take a look at the photos, and be sure to watch that video on our remanufacturing. It's quite impressive. In two minutes, you see one of these things, for the most part, taken from this state, essentially, and torn completely down to just the base, and then going through all the parts, and then rebuilt back up, and then you get to see the stress testing and everything that we go through. Um, uh, we're going to create similar videos for showing the teardown on the uh, Dell Notebooks, the refurbishment. Um, we're also going to create the uh, tutorial that will go along with our help files. And uh, we hope that that will provide a significant level of, of ability for our customers to be able to get immediately productive with these.